Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Gisa. Today, we're going to learn about the spider life cycle. How many of you like spiders? Some people are very afraid of spiders, but I think it's because they don't know enough about them. Let's read a little bit more to learn about spiders. The Life Cycle of a Spider, written by Ron Friedel and Patricia Walsh. Meet the spiders. Spiders are arachnids. They have eight legs and two body parts. Most spiders have eight eyes. They do not have wings or antennae. Spiders are not insects. There are many kinds of spiders. They can live on the peaks of high mountains or on the floors of deep caves. Some live in wet swamps and some in dry deserts. Spiders also live in basements and gardens. They live wherever there are insects for them to catch and eat. All spiders make silk. Some kinds of spiders use their silk to spin webs in the shape of a wheel. The spider in this book is a female garden spider. The spider begins her life as a tiny egg. A female spider lays hundreds of eggs. The female spider wraps the eggs in threads of silk to make a round, papery egg sac. Then she hangs the egg sac in her web. The eggs hatch. The spiderling is one of many baby spiders inside the egg sac. She stays inside with the others until the weather is warm. Inside the egg sac, the spiderling grows. When she is ready to come out, she bites a tiny hole in the egg sac and escapes. The other spiderlings escape too. The new spiderling is tiny and white. She stays with the other spiderlings in a wiggling cluster. She will survive, but many spiderlings will not. They will be eaten by other hungry spiderlings. In a few days, the spiderling leaves the others. She goes ballooning to find a new home. She climbs to the top of a grass stem or fence post to catch a breeze. The spiderling lets out silk from her spinnerets. The breeze tucks at the silk. The spiderling lifts off and flies on the wind. She will make her home wherever she lands. The spiderling hangs upside down from a silk thread. As she grows, her skin gets tight. She must get rid of her old skin. This is called molting. Her old skin splits along the sides of her body. Then she pulls her legs out of the skin. Here you can see a skin a spider has just molted. The spiderling's new skin is wrinkled and wet. She stretches and bends her legs. When the new skin dries out, it will be hard and will not stretch. The spiderling will grow and molt again. She will get new skin five to nine times before she is an adult. The spider builds her web in tall grass or in bushes. Each morning she repairs any holes in the web. Then she sits in the middle of her web or hides nearby. The spider waits for an insect to get caught in the sticky web. When an insect is caught, the spider quickly wraps it in silk threads. She will eat the insect later. The spider's life is a hard one. Wind can rip her web. People spray insecticides that can kill the spider and the insects she eats. There's also danger from predators. Birds, wasps, frogs, lizards, and scorpions all eat spiders. The spider does not get caught in her own web. A special claw on each foot helps her walk across her web without getting stuck. The spider uses a safety line to escape from predators. When a predator comes near, the spider quickly spins a thread of silk. Then she drops off her web to escape. The spider mates in early fall. A male spider taps on the string of the female's web to tell her he is near. After mating, the male spider's job is done and he will die. The female spider will lay hundreds of eggs and make her egg sacs. Then she will die too. So let's look at these pictures. 
The first step in a spider's life cycle is the egg, and then the egg sac. The little hatchlings grow, and then they grow into spiderlings. Then the spiderlings molt five to nine times, and that's when they shed their skin and grow new skin. And then finally, they are an adult spider, and the life cycle starts all over again when that female spider lays her egg. Let's take a look at the life cycle with my life cycle materials. Okay, little scientists, now that we've read a bit about spiders and the spider life cycle, let's see the cycle in action using my little spider figurines. Now, you are going to have pictures of the spider life cycle in your activity pack so that you can use to do a similar activity. How does a life cycle start? Yes, like many life cycles, it starts with eggs. After fertilization, a female spider can lay up to 3,000 eggs. That's a lot of eggs. Afterwards, to protect the eggs, many different kinds of spiders will contain them in a silk sac, which is then attached to the spider web for safety. All right, what do you think comes next? That's right. Once the eggs hatch, the little spiderlings, look at how cute they are. The little spiderlings come out of those little eggs and they look just like spiders, but they're still tiny. So it's not quite like an adult spider, but they look like it, just tiny. All right, as the spiderlings grow, they will shed their skin because they won't be able to stretch and grow with them. This is called molting. Though most spiders only live a couple of years, some types of spiders can live to be over 40 years old, which is really old. All right, so here is our cycle. And then the spider mates with another spider and ends up ha laying eggs again. And the whole cycle starts over. So now you use your cards to create the life cycle of a spider. Thanks again for joining us today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.